Hey, it's Jay, and it's time to jabber. Hello there, hello to you, and welcome to this week's Jay's Jabbering. This week I'm going to be talking about preconceived ideas um, and prejudice, really. Um, preconceptions, in a way. Uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about, and then something happened, well, two things happened to me, actually, on uh, Thursday, uh, yesterday. Uh, one was that I was having a uh, coffee in a well-known high street sort of coffee shop, and I was lining up with a friend. In front of us, there were these two young skinhead um, guys, and behind, there was an older couple. I would say, you know, 50s, probably late 50s, early 60s. Now, in that situation, I was wary of the younger guys. I was thinking, oh, you know, keep an eye out, keep, where's my wallet, etc. Um, but then what happened next, it just, you know, my friend and I, we just looked at each other. We couldn't believe it. The two guys, they just, you know, paid for their coffee, went off, fine, no problem. The lady... Uh, the older lady um, then proceeded to, after she'd ordered and paid for the drinks, to take two packets of biscuits while the uh, cashier's back was uh, turned and put them in her bag. My friend and I just stared at each other. We were like, what have we just seen? Did that just happen? It, it, it just, it was, it, it just didn't make sense to us. We're like, this is an older lady and she had blatantly just stole some biscuits um it was it was like what is that's that my, our perceptions were thrown we you know wouldn't assume that a little old lady you know out for her coffee would steal um which is obviously a preconceived idea but it was obviously wrong um, to make it worse, in fact, we went sat down. We um, could say, and she then went and took a sandwich as well. And you know, if it had been a you know a little chain or something, a uh, little you know independent shop, perhaps we would have said something. But as it's a big conglomerate, we think you know it's not down to us as people. Or is it down to us? That's an interesting point. Well, should we have said something? Um, should we have said something to this person or even to the to the shop um, people? That's another issue. But it just threw our perceptions. We literally could not believe what we were seeing. It, it was, it shouldn't have been, but it was shocking. It, well, well, it should be shocking, obviously. If someone's stealing something is shocking. But the fact that she was an older lady, that shocked us. And that shouldn't be what shocked us. Um, we have that image of young people. And old, old people can't do any wrong. They're not. But a lot of the time, obviously, it's not the case. The other thing that happened to me later that day, um, I went to an art gallery. Um, I went to have a look round, and I walked in, fine, yeah, having a look round, and uh, sort of noticed the people hanging around, walked round to one bit, I walked over to another bit, and I noticed one of the people working there followed me. Didn't think much of it. I then walked um, up to the second floor, and looked around there, and the guy followed me up there. I then went down to the basement, and the guy stood... There's a lot of an open basement thing. And the guy stood looking down to where I was. It's like he was the security guard and he was following me. So he obviously had some sort of preconception of me. Um, I don't know if he expected me to... I don't know what he expected me to do in an art gallery, really. You know, I don't know what you could do. <laughs> it's just my innocence, maybe. But, you know, he obviously had a preconceived idea. A guy going into an art gallery on his own we need to we need to look at what he's doing we need to follow him uh and that, that i was just like well i'm you know i don't think that i look like um a threat or a you know potential hooligan or whatever um but it it, it made me laugh in a way because i was just like i thought right i'm gonna pop to the toilet i w went to the toilet came out and he was still there and i was like yeah he's definitely following me but why i don't know i, I wanted to ask him I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to confront him, really. But I'd, I'd just love to know what he thought I would be up to. Um, because we all make assumptions. We all do. Um, those two are just two, in a way, small examples where, I, you know, assumptions of young versus old. And this guy obviously made an assumption about me. Um, but people make assumptions all the time based on age. 
based on gender, um, like whether it's a masculine thing or a feminine thing, uh, based on you, the family unit, what sort of family you come from, uh, whether it's, you know, um, the family unit as in the 2.4 children or whether it's single parents or whatever. People make judgments and assumptions based on one fact. Um, you know, clothing, another one, you know, people see, you know, a bit, you know, not cut really relevant uh, these days but you know the goth or the emo or whatever else the way they dress the punk you know you get an idea of what they're like from what they're wearing and that might not be true it's just an assumption obviously it goes a lot deeper people make radical assumptions based on ethnicity or race or religion uh, i'm not going to talk about those because that could get into a really deep deep discussion that i'm you know i'm not well read enough to to say things about but when it comes to um, gender, for example, you know, there are clear gender roles in society. They are being broken down, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But people do sort of, you're a man, you're the, you interested in this, you're like this, you're a woman, this is what you do. Uh, there are boxes, and people like uh, to put people into boxes. And, you know, some people don't fit those boxes. Don't Some people don't live up to the uh, stereotypes or, you know, that that people have of them. It's easy to make assumptions. Um, you can assume things about people you know, instantly. You look at them and you assume things. And you shouldn't. Um, find out what someone is about. Talk to people. Find out who they are and what they're about before you make an assumption. There's that, um, I don't know where it's from, but there's a, there's a famous quote which is, don't assume anything, because to assume makes an ass out of you and me. Sort of an acronym to help you, you know, spell assume correctly. Um, but it's so true. There's the other saying, assumption, my dear, is the mother of all muck-ups. Because assumptions are rarely true. Get to know someone. Talk to people before you start thinking you know them. Just because someone dresses a certain way is a certain gender. Yeah, is a certain ethnicity, whatever it is, age, whatever it is, you cannot always know a person from what they look like or who they are. Talk to them, learn about them, and then you will know who they really are. I mean, have you made an assumption um, about me from the way I dress, from the way I'm talking to you now, from the fact that my thumbnail was me... Uh, drinking some coffee. Did that give you an assumption? Did that give you a, a preconceived idea of what I would be like? Was it true? Who knows? You can't judge a book, cliche, by its cover, but it's true. Find out about people before you judge them. And even then, yeah, think before you judge because there's a whole new bag of issues there. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching. Um, thumbs up, subscribe, all of that beeswax. And uh, I will see you next time.